Hey, it's Mr. D back again for the next installment of the solo for drums called Solo 11 in the Alfred Snare Drum Method uh, book. It's on page 41. It's a classic level 2 solo. It's got uh, all the great things. The 16th note permutations or patterns, uh, the dynamics, the repeated sections, and so on. Um, in this performance, it's a straight ahead performance, I, uh, I'm going to uh, perform it for you. But I want you to be aware that I won't be doing the repeated sections, okay? I'm just going to kind of play it straight through. At the very end, I'm going to take the second ending and go back to the sign and end on the fine. Um, I'll be observing uh, the dynamics like you should, the rhythm patterns, uh, the rolls, and so on. So the best way to use this video as a tool is to um, first start and stop it. So listen to what I do, stop it, work it out on your own, and then continue forward. Um, when you think you're ready, you can play along with me. Um, if you uh, play it with a regular snare drum, you're going to probably want to use either a pad on the top of the drum or a set of headphones because you're not going to be able to hear me unless you've got really loud speakers on the computer. Um, if you want to play on just a pad just to get the patterns and then work it on your regular drum, that's, that's cool as well. Um, so here we go with a performance of Solo 11 from the Alfredge Drum uh, Method book. Okay, so that is a performance of Solo 11 from the Alfred's Drum Method book. It's a solid level two solo. Notice I did the dynamics, the crescendos. Um, there was a crescendo on line three with the five stroke rolls. Look at the end of line three. Okay, make sure you add that dynamic, that contrast, or else the song is really kind of dull and boring. Um, remember, when I performed the solo, I didn't do the repeats. If you're performing this for a competition, you're going to definitely want to ask the judge if you should observe the repeats. I didn't just for time's sake, but in a performance setting, when you do this for a judge, more than likely you're going to play it as written with the repeats. So know your roadmap. Okay? I'll say it again. Know your roadmap. Know exactly where you go. Also, at the very end and second ending, after the rim shot, that rim shot we did, you're going to go back to the, the sign. And remember, that area that the sign is at, that four measures right after the sign, um, on one, and like five lines from the bottom, needs to be worked out. Okay, this little rhythmic issue there. Okay, make sure you're also your rolls are nice and clean. One E and a two. One e and a two. If you're working with a private instructor and you've talked about the uh, multiple bounce, um, the open roll, the one where you have the double bounces, the, um, you're going to want to make sure that uh, you work with that your private teacher to make sure you do the um, you figure out which role you're going to do either the open role or the closed role. Um, if you're uh, just preparing this on your own or you're doing it for a performance, um, 
you're going to want to try at this point to do the multiple bounce roll, okay? Okay, and make sure you have your solid five strokes and nine stroke rhythm patterns correct before you attempt this song. Okay, so keep practicing. It's an awesome solo. Again, it's all about dynamics. Dynamics are key in this solo. So, if you have any questions, go to the contact link that's listed at the top of the website, or if you're one of my students, uh, come on down and we can talk uh, in, in a lot of detail of Solo 11. A lot of good stuff in there. Uh, in the meantime, keep practicing. You're going to be a great drummer. And uh, rock on.